Hello everyone, how's it going? Dr. Incompetent here, and let's resume this complete beginner's guide for our ranged character in version 0.29 with our gargoyle hunter of Okawaru here in the snake pit. And we're ready for some more snakes, so let's check out snake 3. We got a Naga mage. We're just blasting away, and we're going to go heroic, and we're going to finesse. There's a lot of people here right now. So what we want to do is just make sure that we can handle this as quickly as possible. And there we go. Anybody else want to fight? I don't think so. All right. Fantastic. Oh, it's a Zot Trap. So Zot Traps are pretty funny. Um, they inflict dangerously unpredictable magical effects on those unlucky enough to step on it. You can get thrown into the abyss, contaminated with wild magic, have... Fiends summoned against you and the like. Hostile monsters may trigger this trap themselves to invoke its effects against you, but your allies will avoid stepping on that. So uh, they used to be way more dangerous than they are now, but they're still formidable. And so what you want to do is just not be near a Zot Trap, not fight near it if you can, because you don't want somebody to like step onto it and then um, wreck you. Now, I'm doing everything I can to... Uh, I'm using heroism, finesse, everything right now because uh, that was a lot of things and that shock serpent can just end up doing a bunch of damage to us that we don't want to deal with. So we're just going to kind of blast, blast, blast. We're going to go heroic and I'm going to lure the enemies back to here. Uh, Mana Vipers do not sleep on them. They hit hard. All the stuff actually that we are looking at right now is uh, has a potential to hit us hard. So we just want to make sure that we take it down use a choke point and there's a jerk right there uh let's just clear out this room so that we never have to come back in it got a spell book but we won't be casting spells with this gargoyle not with a six intelligence and gold dragon scales on huh uh all right so we're just blasting away and another zot trap which is quite unfortunate so <laughs> Let's get away from it, and let's just try to clear all the enemies that we can by moving away from the trap, if at all possible. All right. Just keep it off the screen. As long as it's off the screen, you're good. We really don't want to go to the abyss if we can avoid it. It's just, you know, going to be a waste. We're training armor, and, you know, uh, I want to see when I'm going to stop getting returns on that, but... I think we might move back up into fighting in a bit. And one thing I will say about fighting... Um, oh, it, it was a big box of snakes in the ground. That's so funny. Um, so we're going to go ahead and it was like a snake trap. We're going to use heroism and we're just going to fight everything right here. I'm not going to use um, finesse right now because you can see my piety has dipped a bit because I've been spamming finesse a little bit to clear this place out. And I want to save that. I want to just boost my piety if possible. Now, fighting also improves your accuracy and your damage. So it's something that uh, we're going to want to raise because it, it does boost those things slightly instead of just doing hit points, which is actually quite good. So uh, we're going to just kind of stand here and fight as much of these fun elephants as possible. And yeah, we can't actually fight them right now. Um, and let's just do this. Okay. Uh, so we're going to fire down here, and we killed something, and we'll kill that, and we'll rest up. So that was a little bit tricky, but we got it all, right? And is there anything that we want? There's a big old longbow, plus four longbow. It's nice. Okay. Well, that's snake three. You know, real fast anyway. And let's go ahead and go down. Wave of Frost. Okay. Ooh, look at this entrance. Uh, I'm going to just uh, fire at this guy, and I'm going to bring him up the steps. Oh, he didn't come up. Okay, so I'm going to try a different staircase. That staircase is terrible. And just, by the way, the Wave of Frost is an ice cave. Um, oh, we've been constricted, so we can't um, leave right now. So let's just kill the guy that's constricting us. We're not constricted. We got constricted again by who? Um... The Naga Ritualist, okay. Um, it's this guy right here. So let's just try to fight him, and then we'll go up. Okay, good. So we're surrounded, which is 
not ideal, but we can take care of this. All right, so what we're gonna do is, uh, I'm gonna Tremor Stones, bing, 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 bing. And um, we can do better than, than that with Tremor Stones, can't we? No, we can't. Apparently it didn't wanna hit stuff near us. That is a shame. Um, all right, so I'm gonna go here, and this way we can just fight in the choke point. We're just gonna watch our stats, but we're okay. And yeah, it's getting spicy, and control O, you'll see that the snake pit is only four levels, and we're trying to go down to the fourth level, so it's just going to be choked up with enemies, and quite challenging, so we want to keep our eyes peeled. Um, all of those staircases just seem bad, and to finish my thought about the ice cave, I'm not looking for it at all. I don't care about it. Um, that is Roxanne, and she's a dangerous statue, so we're just going to go this way. This is fine. I'm going to go heroic and we can just, um, we can fight right here, uh, reasonably. And use this choke point. And if it gets too spicy, um, oh, we got level 18. Like it's kind of getting a little bit too spicy for me. I'm just going to walk back and yeah, they can fire at me, but, uh, we can just, I'm actually going to shoot a little bit right here. Take some down, take this guy with me and we're good rest up and a wave of frost i'm not going for the time dungeon i don't care about the wave the 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 frost cave um oh okay there is somebody down there with dispersal we have to be very very careful about that we don't want to go to the abyss so i'm gonna go to a different i'm gonna go heroic i'm gonna go down what's around here let's pull as many of these up as we can we need to get a clear staircase down and it's kind of hard to do that right now Okay, um, I'm going to go heroic again and go down and just shoot. Is everybody going to stand away from me? It looks like it. they all have range, so that's what they want to do. Okay, and we go up. Before the, You have to really be careful stair dancing in Snake because so many things can constrict you. So I'm just trying to do my best to avoid um, a constriction on the staircase. So as soon as something gets next to me, I'm just going to pull it up. Sometimes they take a turn before they do constrict. And by the way, I'm going heroic every single time before I step down. It's a big waste of piety, but it's the safest way to kind of clear this out. And I'm just stair dancing like crazy. Uh, okay, we got to kill the Salamander. There we go. He's constricting us, so we're like taking con just damage over time. This is, I mean, this is not easy, but our big armor uh, is helping us kind of clear this out now when i look down here it's actually looking less intense i think we can handle this from here on out yeah we got it all right cool and let's just try to clear as much of this as we can from this area um because yeah it's going to get again spicy we're just going to have snakes like coming for days but if we can fight them like in a trickle like this and get one clear staircase, I think we have enough of a foothold. I'm just like tab shooting everything, basically. You can see our armor class has naturally gone up to um, 46. So we've been training armor and you know we were at 44 and now we're already up to 46 by putting armor to this point. And I think it's worth raising armor, but I am going to switch off and go back to fighting now. Just get some more hit points, boost our accuracy and our damage a little bit. There's an enchant armor scroll, which is just so beautiful. It's hard to really state that. Um, I'm going to go ahead and read this uh, enchant armor. And we're going to put it on. Uh, our cloak is fine. Now we have a 47 armor class. Take that. Great. All right, I'm going to go back up and just get ourselves situated for a moment. Uh, let's go up. Okay, cool. All right. So looking good. Let's go ahead and go heroic and go back down. And explore a bit. The game is still telling me that it sees a salamander, but I don't... It's like, I think it's some kind of bug. I don't I don't know why. Um But alright then. Blasting away. Alright. That's some lava. Go ahead and rest 
All right. Uh, the mystic is hurting us. Uh, was hurting us. And we're okay. All right, I'll go up. It's just one of those things where if they're going to go ahead and smash us that hard, we have to just take it real easy. And that's snake four for you. Oh, and we got some Okawaru armor. Um, oh, he gave us a helmet. Interesting. So we are currently wearing the Assassin Hood of... Well, it's just called the Hood of the Assassin. And gives us stealth and stab and detection. And we're really wearing it just for the detection. And maybe that's why it's bugging out about this salamander. Because of the detection. But um, I'm going to go up steps really fast. And just check this out. So right now we're wearing a hood, right? And this thing gives you no base armor rating. And nothing else great. This artifact that we've been given is insane because it's going to give us a base armor rating of 1. It has plus 3 on it, and it's going to give you st us strength. Um, now, it lets us see invisible, which we can't do either. So this is like a very, very large upgrade for us. We don't get the detection anymore, but check out our armor class. It's 47. I'm just going to go ahead and wear this helmet. We go to 50 armor class. All right, we get some strength. Um, and let me look at the actual. Uh, let's see, we are currently wielding um, this crossbow, which is base damage rating uh, 48, 47. Okay, so we have a 48 right here. Now, if we were to wear the Hood of the Assassin, um, and go back to this, it would be... Man, it's the same. All right, so the three strength isn't actually doing that much for us. Our evasion is 18. Let me try this out. Hood of the Assassin. Oh, wrong. Uh, wear helmet. Yeah, okay, we do get a pip of evasion. So we get three armor class and an evasion, and we could see invisible. So I'd say that's a pretty good day. So Okawaru is doing a good job, giving us pretty fantastic stuff. So, not only do we get the beautiful gift of heroism and finesse if we need it, but right there we didn't even use anything. Um, do I have a box of beasts? Let me look at this. Um, no, I don't. So let's go pick this up. We're going to get a box of beasts. Oh, it's actually gray. I think maybe we can't use it because um, Okawaru no likey. All right, let's go ahead and blast. Oh, there's Donald. All right, so um, Donald has a reflection shield, which is kind of a nightmare for us. Uh, and he can might and haste. So we need to go ahead and go heroic and also finesse and then just pray we can kill him and not kill ourselves yeah he's actually quite strong at this point we need to get a good hit on him that's not a good hit all right he's hasted and mited and he has um Reflection, so I'm going to have to quaff uh, heal wounds, and we're going to just wait one moment. Where'd he go? I didn't expect him to lose us. Oh, you know what? I think he's slowed. All right, let's go ahead and go up. Let's try this again. I don't mind fighting him again, but I don't want him to be buffed if we can do anything about that. All right, so one thing actually that we can do about it is, uh... oh, oh, you know what happened? I didn't see that. We killed him. Um, he was poisoned. He was poisoned so significantly that we killed him. That's hilarious. So he was really hurting us. We blinked away and then he died. Okay, well, good. 
All right, so we're going to pick up his kite shield of reflection for sure. And that's it. Because if we can, there are certain items that we could find if we get lucky. We could find a hand crossbow and then be able to use a shield and, oh, um, well, we do have resist cold, but this is, you know, not ideal. All right, we're going to move over here. I have to move up here, by the way, because I don't want that sharpshooter to see us. There we go. I don't mind fighting him, but I don't want to get flanked. All right, so dragon scales. There's that frost cave. And eventually we'll find the rune. Luckily, we can just fly over this lava, which gives, which, uh, gives us a pretty good amount of possibilities. Now, we were getting blasted there. Um, by fire damage, yeah, and stuff like that. So, uh, I'm going to quaff uh, a potion of haste. Oh, boy. Um, never mind, I don't have time to play. I have to... Uh, I mean, I have resist fire, and I'm getting wrecked, so... Going over the fire usually is, or the lava usually confers a benefit, but in this case, it did not. Uh, I need to blink down here and just get out of the way because there's too many enemies that came from the other side. I didn't clear it out, and so we had to fight just way too much at once. All right, let's see what did come up. All right. He weakened us, huh? I'll take this guy up the steps. That's fine. We can fight one-on-one. -on -one. Go heroic, go down, fight this salamander. There we go. And kill that guy. And now the salamander is off our list. All right. So the rune is going to be uh, around the corner and in this chamber generally. And we'll get there. But boy, I didn't want to use those blinking scrolls at all. Um, have to f try to get some more and be a little bit more careful. That was way more damage than I was looking to take right there. Alright, Snake 4, let's do this. Let's finish if we can. So, here we go. Salamanders. And Salamander Mystic. So when you get into a situation like this over lava, you know, I was getting real greedy. I was happy with my resist, but even then you saw I got tagged. And this should be just par for the course. Whenever you are getting close to a rune, just ratchet up all of your uh, defenses and lower your expectations on your survivability tremendously. Don't let hubris get you here because everything is going to be harder. I feel like, you know, there's just more enemies. It's more unfair. So you need to be super, super patient. You know, flight is nice, but they just came around this other side. So... Sometimes flight can be a curse because you can get into a position that is untenable um, and you can't move fast enough to get away from range shooters who are just blowing you away. Alright, so I'm just kind of tabbing these things down until they become a problem. I'm saving her heroism and all that jazz uh, for when I might need it. Okay, here I'm going to use it. Now, this Guardian Serpent, I don't even think um, he has anybody left to use, to, to summon to me from this floor, luckily. Like, he kind of came a little too late to the party. If we would have saw him earlier and he dumped everybody from inside this vault on us, ouch. But we're just going to kind of nudge them out one by one, open this door, and I'm going to walk back. They see me, that's fine. Let's fight them right here. I don't want any more than just that small group. So we're just going to keep doing it little group by little group. I'm not going to open that door. Okay. Um, well, it goes to this room. I was, <laughs> wasn't sure if like there was a diagonal to the, you know, southeast right there to open. It doesn't. All right. And bunch of guys. So again, yep, he did teleport guys on us. But those are the last remaining enemies. I'm going to go ahead and use uh, finesse right here. And it seems awkward, but it's because this guy has a shield uh, and he's constricting us. So uh, we want to actually kill the Lindworm before the Guardian Serpent. The Guardian Serpent by itself doesn't actually do that much damage. So we're going to not focus on him. 
<laughs> two guardian serpents. You can summon each other. Oh, there were some guys left. Okay. So in this spot, we do have um, finesse still up. So I'm going to kill this guardian serpent so I can move into this square. Ooh, again, again, just do not. All right. <laughs> this is just the way it is. Like you think like you've cleared everything out and it just fills up. So I'm going to use a scroll of poison right now um, and do it. It's going to poison them all. We can't get poisoned, obviously, right? So we're going to just go ahead here. I'm going to try to kill this salamander and then this guy back here. Everything else is getting poisoned. Um, I'm going to get the mystic. Now, the naga down here is getting us with reach, so we'll get him. This salamander mystic is not moving because of the clouds. Um, so we made a bunch of clouds and we win. So we save those scrolls of poison for a good time. Remember, even though they're snakes, they can get poisoned, which is, like, confusing, but awesome for us. All right, and there's a guardian serpent who's doing poison that doesn't work on us. Okay, and I'm going to open this door from up here. Interesting. So, as soon as we opened the door, it was like a snake explosion, and they all started blinking. But guess what? We're going to move over here. Now, the shock serpent is still a problem, but this is where flying is just going to be our absolute friend. I'm going to use heroism, and I'm going to use finesse to deal with all this. I want to take out um, all of the guardian serpents, but also any shock serpent has to go, because they can actually hit us. Maybe they can't. Maybe I lied about that. Like, I'm so used to electricity operating from range, but it's very possible that they have to be in melee range. Um, all right. And then let's go ahead and get this. Guardian Serpent can actually shoot us. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. The shock, the, the shock Serpent did hit us from far, afar. And now the rest of these poor snakes, except for the Shock Serpent, this is where we can ex exploit our flight. The other place was a little too dangerous because we were fighting against ranged creatures. But these are all creatures that can't go in the lava, can't shoot us from range, and just are suffering. This wouldn't be too bad for us to fight if we had to do it in melee, but this is just the cheese that you can do if you're a flying gargoyle. How about that? That looks like the Serpentine Rune is that, because it is. And that's amazing. All right, so we got it, and I'll just go here, and we got our first rune, everybody. How about that? Let's finish up the floor. There's a little bit to the north left to do. Oh, it's because of Roxanne. Um, I'm going to step over here, and let's see, like, if I do heroism, can I kill Roxanne? I'm going to just shoot at her and see how it goes. Oh, okay, so she teleported us close by, but we got her. Now, um... Spellbook, enchant weapon. All right, nothing that great, but we killed her. Cool. And what are we doing with our skills? We're training fighting. And it's going just fine. Uh, we are getting uh, an outrageous amount of health. We have heroism, so our skills look a little better than they actually are, but beautiful. Control O will show us that snake pit's done. Now it's time for that swamp. Orc done. We could go fight elves if we wanted to. Uh, we, we're all the way to dungeon 15, so I think we do the swamp, then uh, work on the vaults in the depths a little bit. If we're strong enough, vaults 5. All right, everybody. Well, thank you so much for watching. I think this is a good place to end the episode after we cleared out Snake 4 and got our first rune. Our gargoyle is doing very well, and you know we're going to just try to keep level-headed so that we don't splat and get a win with this ranged character. Take care.